Okay, get out your book, The Miracles of Jesus, and turn to the page, Jesus Walks on Water. So we have another story that takes place on the water. And there are a lot of water stories in this book, a lot of stories about fish and water and storms. And part of that is because they lived at the Sea of Galilee. And so of course, stories are going to take place there. If you have stories about your life, where will they take place? Will they take place on the Kenai River or at Kachemak Bay or Cook Inlet or in the woods? That's why there's a lot of stories about Jesus at the Sea of Galilee, because that's where he lived. So here's this story. Jesus walks on the water. Before Jesus went up to the hills to pray, he told his disciples to get to their boat and to go ahead of them to the other side of the lake. In the early morning before dawn, the boat was a good distance from the shore and was being tossed about by the rough waters. Suddenly, the disciples saw Jesus walking toward them over the lake. They were so frightened and they called out in terror, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them saying, take heart, it is I, don't be afraid. Then Simon, who was also called Peter, cried out to Jesus, Lord, he said, if it is you, tell me to come over to you in the water. Come, said Jesus. So Simon Peter got out of the boat and he too began to walk on water but the wind was blowing so hard that Simon Peter grew frightened and began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and at once caught hold of him. Oh, man of little faith, Jesus said, why did you doubt? Then as Jesus helped Simon Peter into the boat, the wind stopped and the other disciples fell on their knees and said, truly, you are the son of God.